Hey guys, what up? Spiritmonger187, and we're back for some new matches of Shadow Era. And I have rebuilt my practice deck, so yeah, I would like to show that to you guys. I already built it in the beta before, in the web uh, based beta, but now in the application I rebuilt it. So I can also play this deck on my phone right now, and um, let's see, let's bring in the Harboring of the Lost. So yeah, I just rebuilded some decks that I have used before in the beta and I would like to show them to you. And one of them is this Brexit deck. And yeah, I will not upload as many videos as before, but I'm very busy with... Uh, I just recently bought a new house, so... I'm kinda busy with that, with work and with other things, so... I will not upload as much as I want to, but... I'll try to upload a video every week. So let's see what he has dropped here. But this isn't, is not the best matchup uh, versus a grave bone because I'm discarding some of the cards and you can make a nice advantage of that. Mm, so I want to save this one. I'm really thinking about hard casting the the brimstone. Because yeah. Mm. Or playing the crystal shard. Let's get rid of this one. Or do you want to keep this one? Let's get rid of this one. We'll just cast this one and hit him in the face. So yeah, this is not a practice milling deck, but it's uh, a deck that takes advantage of discarding cards with the Reactory and the Brimstone guy. So it's not about milling your opponent. You could build a practice milling deck, but yeah, I don't like the milling decks as much as, uh, as this deck, as this version that I've played. And I've won some matches with it. But I've played too many matches this season. I'm at on 144 rating. I think I played like five to ten games or something, and I also lost some of them. So I'm I'm stuck at low rating points, and that's because I'm just building different decks, trying out different decks. <laughs> so there goes Zelai, and there goes my Rhyactory. Let's see what we draw here. It's a new one. Let's get rid of this. Let's cut this. Let's get to play. And let's just hit him in the face for one more. Can I check his graveyard? Yes. He's got nothing really too exciting to bring back this turn. But we have two mind controls, so something scary is coming into play, we can mind control it. And I also build a new Banebow deck, so... of a Gravebone deck. So I'm going to show that to you guys as well in the near future. Maybe that will be my next upload. Okay. Let's see, we have a Gravemonger, are we not going to use the Gravemonger? Today or we will. Mm, let's get rid of the dagger here. Yeah. <laughs> is it all damage? All damage to friendly allies is reduced. Okay, let's use the ability. Use two, three, four. Let's hit him down. To so now we can almost use the grave more. Not yet. That sucks a little bit. Well, we could play him, but I'd rather play it with some more cards in my graveyard. So, okay, let's just end turn here and let's see what he's up to. Well, this practice deck really has some uh, potential, I think. I built some other decks and 
This is one of the better decks that I build with the new heroes. But we'll see. Okay. It's a Harbringer. Well. Hit him in his own face. <laughs> he could retrieve it though. <laughs> Sorry for that, guys. I'm a little bit. That's yeah, some kind of cold or. Hello, <laughs> guy. So we have three cards. He got two cards, but he can reanimate any card from his graveyard. So this guy will be dead soon. Okay, he's going to draw a new card, but he doesn't have any mana or resources left. I guess there comes that uh, that ally again, the five four. Sun keeper or something. What's it called? I'm surprised I didn't mill any good allies for him, or any high cost allies. Bloodstained Marauder. Okay. Shock Conductor. We could play the Shock Conductor. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's play this. Use the ability. Mm -hmm. Only one. Well, now we can use the shock conductor to take it down. And let's play another Harbringer. And end this turn. I hope you can't hear it, but one of my neighbors is drilling the wall or something. Pretty annoying. So let's see what he's up to this turn. Another Fury and Terror. It's going to get rid of my allies. It sucks. So the Harbringer will be gone, or it will be hit me in the face. I think he goes for the Harbringer for the board control. No, he's not going for the board control. Of course not. So that guy has got some pretty sweet damage. Hmm, this sucks that I can't discard a card. But let's. Poke him in the face. And play the Grave Monger. Get the mind control, make it 6-6. Six, six. And I really love the Grave Monger. 4 mana, 4 resource, 6-6. Six, six. And you have to have at least 6 cards in your graveyard, but even if you play one of it in your deck and you draw it in late game or something or mid game, it's still a great card. And you can also drop it in an early game for mana, four resources, four four. If you if you have nothing better, you know. But it's still a good card. Let's see, we're in a pretty sticky situation here. Because he is a mage, he can use some fireballs or something. We haven't seen those before. Here comes a shadow fawn. Which is already pretty nasty. It's 5 shadow energy now. So you can retrieve uh, the, the strong the sun keeper or whatever. There goes the morale. Or will he bring back the morale? Uh, at least Grave Monger is going to die. Let's see what's grabbing here.
yeah, sun give us some blighted one. Let's get rid of try to get rid of this one. Let's take a gamble and get rid of that one. Find control M. Down to five. And the face, take him down to four. So yeah, we've done a pretty amount of damage. He's stuck at four, but I hope we can push through. But yeah, he has card he's got the cards and next turn he can use his ability. Oh my god. That's a big fish. Well, my English is not too good, but if I just use this one now. Can it attack right away? I don't know exactly it becomes a redie. Let's just test it. Or we're making a huge error. I think we're making a huge error. No. We're not. <laughs> well we just draw the living armor and it kicked him. So we've won. It was a pretty close match, but this practice deck, you're going to see a lot of more of it. I, uh, unless <laughs> unless you don't want to see more of it. But it's a pretty okay deck, and it still can use some minor tweaks maybe. But I'm still testing it out. So let me hear in the comments what you want to see. Maybe you have a deck you want to see, or a special uh, hero or something. Uh, uh, otherwise, I'm just going to upload some of my new decks. See you later. Cheers!